So I'm on TV, everyone sees me. It's back before social media. So everyone watched your TV raps. If you listen to hip hop, and that was the social media aspect of it. You watched that, and then the next day, you said to your friends, you saw this person video, you heard this song? Yo, what do you think about this? And I was on that show. <laughs> and that's like four months in the actual like game, getting paid, showing up, sound checks, this, that, photo shoots. And it was a, a, it was a beautiful moment and an awakening moment because here I am on TV, I go back around the way and my people are like, where's your car? Where's your, where's your this, where's your that? We see you on T, we see you on MTV, not even TV, we see you on MTV. Like, where's where's the bread? And in my mind, I'm like, yeah. I'm staying on somebody's couch to get to make this dream happen. You know what I mean? I'm like 18 years old, barely got out of high school on some like, okay, I'm already doing my dream. Forget that high school's out of here, you know what I'm saying? So it was right around, like, so that's like, I guess uh, that's the summer of 1990. I'm an old man, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's, <laughs> that, that's a, I want to pick up on that because that's, that's another part of the, the private conversation we had, just mm -hmm. um, uh, talking about how people just kind of equate these moments with long-term success. Like, for example, a plaque. I, I'm, I've heard that people there are whispers that I, you know, like a millionaire or something. Cause of course I got a plaque. Like that's what happens right. when you're on a number one album, you're a millionaire. When you're on MTV, right. you're a millionaire. Where, where, where are your millions of dollars? Um, in your experience, can we equate fame or plaques or accolades with financial success? Nah, they're not hand in hand at all. Then like, uh, if you're a hustler, they, you know, you can make something happen, but a, uh, at that, that moment, it was for me when everyone's saying, where's your car or whatever. It's like, wow, fame does not equal money. You know, like, and I and I, I grew to knew that throughout the whole, my whole journey that I would meet cats that were hella famous and didn't even own their own house or, and I'm talking about famous, famous, you know, like the number one rapper even, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it definitely does not, it does not coincide necessarily. It can. If you're like I said, if you're a hustler and you get famous, you should be able to to generate off that fame. But it's if you're just a fool and want to be famous, man, there's a lot of people that are gonna help you get there. If you if you could be that famous person, because <laughs> if they know the game and you don't, they're the ones gonna get paid. And that's that's usually how this game is. If you're not like. The plaques, people say that to me too, like, oh, big pun, you must still be getting money off that. I'm like, yo, I was the engineer, fam. And while my role was not diminishing, I'm not diminishing my role in any way, there's no there's no check for that after. That was a check for work for hire. And as you know, as beautiful as the plaque is, it wasn't what I was striving to get uh, while I was making the music, you know, and being in the studio, gritting it out with the artists, you know, especially back then there was no Pro Tools. You know, when we talk about a classic record, we're talking about a lot of work, you know, a lot of work. So yeah, a lot of people take the glam and glitz part, which for us is the plaques and awards. And, you know, like, honestly, I didn't really go after none of the plaques. People have been telling me to go after the plaques of like, yo fam, like you, you really like made a lot of moves being a, like one of the first major hip hop engineers, you know, like me and Duro kind of, not to say we were the first, but we were the first to kind of be in the game. Like, you know, nah, that's, this is what we do. We do hip hop. In the we sense that, and then especially you had a name. I mean, we would hear your names on the records, especially yeah. when Duro got with um like Mace and Desert, Desert Storm. Right. And all that. Yeah. Yeah. He became their guy. He became their guy, you know, and, you know, hip hop engineering is different than any other engineering. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's uh, it takes a different mentality and a different ear.